Different times have a different orientation of consciousness as well as different places. <clears throat> but this orientation, this time and place, what this is, this operation, is it's actually establishing a thing called your viewpoint. Your viewpoint. This is your point from which you view the universe. Your viewpoint is absolutely sacred. For one simple reason. You're the only one who can have it. In all of infinity and in all of the life forms and types throughout the whole universe, you are the only person who can have your viewpoint. People can approximate or kind of agree with your viewpoint, but they can't have yours. As a matter of fact, you probably already noticed, you can't even give yours away. So it's very important to understand that all of this information we're going to be going through this evening is not at all to change or alter your viewpoint. That's your job. We're only going to feed your viewpoint. And then you do with it what you will. Is that agreed? Okay. And I want to go into something very important right on the first page here. There is one law in the universe. One law. It's broken down into many others, but there's only one. One law. What that law is, is what you pay attention to is what you become conscious of. It doesn't matter if you're just a little kid with three ants on a stick and that's what you're paying attention to. Or if you're some multidimensional being looking over five universes. What you pay attention to is what you become conscious of. Always. And people talk about free will. You know, where's my free will? There is only really one exercise of your free will, too. That's your choice of what you're going to pay attention to. Always it's your choice. I had one lady say, but I don't want to pay attention to pain, you know. I wouldn't choose that. Well, have you noticed that some people can stand more pain than others? Some people go right on with a sprained ankle and other people can't hobble another foot. Have you noticed that? Have you? Yeah. And sometimes you even can put up with more than other times, right? What is that? Sometimes you're paying more attention to the pain. Sometimes you're paying more attention to other stuff. And whose choice was it? <laughs> so in all circumstances, your free will boils down to what you choose to pay attention to. Now we're ready. The absolute dead center of our civilization is called the Gregorian calendar. Gregorian calendar. And that was actually put into place in 1582 by a guy named Pope Gregory. Uh, 1582 was called year 
of our Lord. Remember those old time movies? You know, with the pirates and the, the and, it, and the crier comes through town and he's crying out, you know. This year, that year, year of our Lord. Okay. This Gregorian calendar was the establishment by the Catholic Church of what day it was. And what the Gregorian calendar is about is this. <laughs> I like this part. <laughs> There, that's our sun, okay? And around our sun, is us. We go around the sun, like that. And we go around the sun every 365 and one quarter days. Here, I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some continents on here. And make this. This is the planet Earth. Yeah, there we go. There, we go around the sun every 365 and one quarter days. So, our whole concept of time, and the very center of our consciousness, is about these cycles repetitive cycles of action. In fact, if you look up time in the dictionary, time equals motion. Motion of physical things. Okay? Now, the Gregorian calendar, I don't know if you, did you guys study a lot in history or did you go to sleep in history? <laughs> I went to sleep in history. <laughs> But I've uh, since gained a, a really uh, a, a bigger appreciation. But the Gregorian calendar, if you studied history, you know that the Gregorian calendar did not go down very easily with indigenous people. The Gregorian calendar went out with the Spanish and with the Catholic bishops, and they conquered lands and then told people what day it was. Most civilizations already have their own calendars. Eh? And then these guys come along and say, ah, ah, no. This is the day. It didn't go down very easy. They had to kill millions and millions of people to get them to follow this Gregorian calendar. And what this Gregorian calendar was all about was the physical measurement of our orbit. And it turns out that this is a very, very insidious tool. You probably never thought that a calendar could be so evil. But what this calendar has done is it has pinned our civilization's consciousness to physical evidence only. The absolute dead center of our civilization is focused on only physical evidence. The measurement of physical objects moving through space. That's why it's not year of our Lord anymore. 